if the sight of other people having a case of lupa doesn't make you very, very jealous. All right, guys. <clears throat> I think we did it. Second successful stream ever. Now, obviously, I have all the cameras set up all around me all the time. But finally, I came up with a new ancient Chinese technique here where I got my tablet right in front of me so I can see what you guys say. Obviously, it's 11 a.m. <laughs> for the California people. And if you didn't know, here at Next Level Painting, that's literally the butt crack of dawn. So um, I do want to start to show off by saying uh, thank you to uh, Brady Allen being my first supporter on the Twitch channel. That is huge. Your support literally means everything. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we got, um, <clears throat> I want to say, Lock Infinity. It says, yo, Kenny, you dream up any lists with the uh, Sorcerer's Cabal yet? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got plenty of those. Plenty of those in the woodworks. Uh, making sure everything's looking fresh. Everyone can hear me, I hope. For... Like I said, I literally, I look, I look like I know what I'm doing, but I promise you, I do not. So today, you might notice I got this airbrush laid the fuck out. Just pieces everywhere. Um, <laughs> this may look like a mini disaster uh, to some people. But what this is, is a gloriously just recently been cleaned airbrush. I have an entire video on airbrush maintenance on YouTube. Literally check it out. Uh, but I mean... Like I said, I'm trying to cover some of these topics that I've covered before, but I want to cover them live because it just seems like you get a better process when you're live. You know, there's no movie magic. It's just like you can't fake it. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple more check-ins. we got, uh, I want to say, Banks, uh, JJ Twitch, and Dirty Sheets Mesquites. Mesquite. <laughs> Literally the best Twitch name I've ever heard. <laughs> Mexquites. Ah, uh, so good. Uh, we got new followers coming in hot. That's tight. Uh, Marv1690 says, hey, been waiting all day for this. Y'all appreciate that. I'll get this shit started right now. So, uh, obviously, what we got is an airbrush here. And I've got a little uh, hops number nine right here. This is the truth. Uh, a bottle of this will literally last uh, one billion minutes, uh, a.k.a. years. Keegan, the bloody chaos. What up, pimpin'? Yo, we kicked it in Chicago recently at Adepticon. Uh, it was great to meet all the people in Chicago, and especially some of my Patreon supporters. Yo, you guys literally keep the lights on. I <laughs> appreciate that shit. So, check this out. A little bit of hops number nine. I'm going to ring this piece right here. Just because I like to keep my shit well oiled. More tip in, right? Chon. I'm going to get my nozzle over it right here. I just hand tighten everything, you know what I'm saying? And now I got a little oil in there. Keep that shit tight. I was cleaning, cleaning the tip separately, so that's why this piece is off right now. We got all that in there. Next, I'm going to put the trigger in. It's important to oil your trigger. Just a, just a piece right there, like the little hinge. You see the little dangly? <laughs> I don't know why I like doing that, but it's hilarious. Uh, get in, get, get the, uh, get that shit lined up. I'm sure you've done this before in your life. Get this little skinny rod like part into this hole. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to lean in close to see what's going on in there to keep it on camera. It's in there. That's what she said. I was going to say it before one of you fucks said it. <laughs> All right. Got the trigger in there. Let's keep that shit fresh. Because the back plate right here. Got a spring attachment right here. And I like to oil this piece right here, too. Like, I keep my airbrush well oiled, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rails 8, 8, 813 is like so many references right now. Yeah, you can't build an airbrush without thinking of sexual innuendos. It's like the truth. 
Um, and I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on the needle. And I'm going to take this needle, now that it is well lubricated, and slide it very carefully into this hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hand tighten everything. Get it nice in there. This this piece right here, this is a, this is a bitch right here. This is probably like the I've probably had this piece for six years because you lose this piece. You can't fucking airbrush without this piece. This is what holds the needle in place right here to this piece. So when you pull that out in the spring, it, you can move it. I've literally lost almost every single one of these I've ever had. This is like an old worn out one from like six years ago. But do, do, don't fucking lose them. Like it will literally, it, it, will, it will bring your operation to a grinding halt. <laughs> Okay, we got um, Skethlex, Skethelx. I don't know how to say that. It's a sick name, though. Had the same airbrush conversation with a buddy last weekend. His wife was chuckling uh, to all the references, too. See what I'm saying? You literally can't discuss this. <laughs> uh, I had to clean my... Uh, last night, too, had some varnish dry up inside. <laughs> oh, see anything you say. It works. I have to check. Do I have the profanity filters on here? Yo, you can say whatever you guys want. Because that's ridiculous. Skethel. Got it. Go, Skethel. All right, guys. Today I'm going to airbrush. No doy, right? Immortal words. So what I got here is more Infinity models. I'm going to bring them out right here. Just wanted to show you guys my nice clean airbrush. Let me lay these hose down. And let me get the focus right. Obviously, I don't run with autofocus on because it is stupid. But I can focus this in for you best I can do. Let's get some extra light in these dark models. There we go. It'll lighten up here in a second. Okay, what we got is we got these... Um, and it shouldn't be too out focus. If it is, let me zoom in. Maybe this will be better. Zoom in a little bit. That's the best I can do right now. This might be too extreme. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be working on these girls right here. Damn, I'm not I'm not happy with the the lack of focus here. But that's the best I can do right now. So this is it for my Panosha set. <laughs> like once I finish these girls right here, uh, we're done with it. So these will be done long before the next live stream. And by then, I should be working on another color scheme. But we're still going to be working on Infinity, but I'm going to be working on a Kill Bill color scheme. You know, with some yellows and some blacks. So, obviously, just like last time, we're going to get the old trusty airbrush ready to go. Say Almost the same process we did last week, you know. But we're different models. So, we, while I'm setting my airbrush up, we got... Uh, <laughs> dirty skeets mix uh, dirty sheets mix skeets says uh, I use ultrasonic cleaner with Windex and water yep ultrasonic cleaners are pretty good uh, anyone else lose him uh, possibly people think they've lost me uh, someone confirm if you guys can still hear me I don't want to make I want to make sure I don't lose the stream uh, good old uh, category 74 says he thinks he lost me I think my stream is still going. Okay, so what we have now is a nice airbrush. Right, Sean? Let me uh, back out so you can see the airbrush because it's no fun to just see models appear or paint appear on models if you don't see the airbrush working. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We got extra light coming in. We're looking good. We're going to pull out All right, you got me back. Yeah. Loud and clear. Skethel, my man. All right. So obviously, blue, green, Prussian. These are going to be our colors, right, Sean? We're going to mix these up. Gangster Gumbo, like we've done before. Ancient Chinese technique right here. Anyone who didn't see this last time, we're going to use um, 
flow improver right in the airbrush we're gonna get some Prussian blue right in there like gangster mode just like that get some blue green up in there something like that I'm gonna pull out a trusty paintbrush swirl that together patent gangster gumbo right here while I'm doing this uh, uh, Mythios 23, any love for War Machine? Would love to see a guide for that system, especially the new edition coming out. Um, yo, literally, I love those models. But like I've said it a million times before, um, I am currently restricted to commissions uh, for tutorials. Uh, you know, it's about to got to keep the lights on. So like the goal is to get like things like YouTube and Twitch and Patreon, especially Patreon's been doing some serious work for me. Uh, get those to a financial place where I can like stop taking commissions because if I can stop taking commissions then I can just paint on requests you know like I would just put up like a you know a bulletin board and be like request right now and then I'll just go go down the list you know that would be optimized for me but I'm many thousands of dollars a month away from being able to do that okay one last one. It says uh, less hammer, the less hammered ochre, the ochre, mediocre. Oh, I said less than mediocre. God, without any spaces, you're impossible to read. Less than mediocre. It says yo, what about uh, wh what do I do? Yo, what it do? Twenty four inch pythons. It's your boy AJ from Endless Gaming. Okay, let me think about that. AJ, Endless Gaming, is. Are you a, are you a, are you are you, are you a, a Street Fighter fan? You play Third Strike? Because if you do, I know who you're talking about. Glad to see people I know in real life. Got someone's got me up on PS4. All right. Next, uh, pull out your uh, trusty black glove. And I find it important to uh, get a glove size smaller than you actually wear. So that the, so that you have like that uh, extra grip right here, you know. All right, quick, 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 quick. Make sure we got everything good and good. Pull the needle out a little bit. Just making sure everything's just chilling. All right, we're gonna go in for the Zenthiel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in for you guys though, because I know some people said they wanted to see a little bit closer. So hold on, hold on. This is, I got so many windows open to make this happen. All right. Come in, come in, Zenthiel. Coming in tight. And mainly it's just about the, the shoulders and the back and the chest. Right now, because I'm going to paint in like those pants a different color. And then she's got like some sick boots on. So same deal there. The boots matter. The tips of the toes matter. There we go. I'll let you guys to see that. Zoomed in. So we're just establishing that like uh, subtle highlight. Some people are having trouble with the stream. I hope it's not on my end, guys. If it is, I apologize. Uh, Dirty Skeets. Dirty Sheets McSkeet says he might have lost some sound, but uh, Skethel says it's all good. Less than Mediocre says Asian Cat that played... Uh, yeah, I know who you are. I wasn't going to say Asian kid, <laughs> but I was just fucking with you, AJ. You are playing League and shit like that, weren't you? Um, hopefully everyone's coming in hot. Same deal. I'll zoom back in for you guys. Same deal right here. 
Let's go top down, Cynthia. Catch those, catch those boobies. Let them naturally shade underneath. Like that's why you're trying to hold it at this angle right here, so that it just catches the tops of everything. Leaves a little bit of shading underneath. Same deal on the back, because this—I mean, their armor is basically shoulders and chest, and then they're wearing like sexy leather pants, and then they're wearing like armored greaves. And on these armored knee pads and shit right here, I'm trying to create some more shadows, exactly the same way. And then on the tips of the toes, like so. I'm going to come back, back of the knee, back of the heels. Just trying to create some exciting transitions. I don't put a lot of thought process into like what's realistic. AKA, that shit's boring. I like to do what looks cool. I'm going to hit this hand. Hand on the other weapon. And there we go right there. She looks pretty good for a first pass. Sexy little girl right there. And let's see if I have in the box something I've already painted that's similar to that. Um, I don't think I've done one of these ladies specifically, but I have done... It's like, so here's like one of the uh, the females right here, fully armored. So you can see like that's kind of what I'm going to be going for right here. Same kind of subtle look, you know, and this is, and that's designed to match the entire army, you know. Like, you know, like here's that Joan of Arc right there. You can see, like, that's kind of like what I'm going to go for on the faces. And those girls have the green berets. So, like, or the red berets. So, like, they're going to get something like this guy has. So, they're going to kind of combine all these elements right here. Uh, we got Neb. 08 says, yo, dog. What up, player? Thanks for tuning in. Keeping that shit tight. Just checking my stream, guys. Making sure everything's going good. Everyone's got sound. All right. So, at this point, the gangster gumbo is probably getting a little stale on the tip. Heard that. So, remember, we learned last episode, you always got to keep the tip clean. So I got my little tr my trusty, trusty toothbrush right here. I'm going to clean some of that dried up paint out of the tip. And that will keep the flow strong. Got a question in the stream right here. Looks like uh, Mythos23. What type of paintbrush do you use? <laughs> Two major paintbrushes in play right here. I use this... Um, I think this is a Cornell 18-0. And my other major paintbrush I like is, I think uh, a, this one right here is actually pretty good. This is, strangely enough, this is a Reaper Pro Paint series. It's one of their finest sables. And I'd say my other main go-to brush is uh, this Kalinsky series right here. This is another 10-0. So these are like, this is a liner brush, the longer bristles. So these are my three go-tos right up in here. But I mean, y'all go, you go through them quick. Like, they get, they get ruined. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep the, let's keep the love alive on these ladies. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Okay. Let's see if we can get this looking good. Keep it subtle. Trick here, like I said, is more air than paint. I'm holding it all the way down, but only feathering it slightly back in the double action. That way you keep it real subtle and you can, you can get a real good blend. You're not just like coating it with paint over paint, you know. Same thing, let's hit the kneecaps. Kneecaps. Keep it fresh. So you're getting that exciting transition. I 
Get those heels. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of clogging. I'll fix that in just a second. Sorry, guys, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Apologize. She got real. Classic. Not wearing my face mask while airbrushing. That's why I try to keep the airbrushing part short because uh, I usually wear a face mask. Usually have my uh, air removal system going. So we got none of that going right now. So it's getting foggy. <laughs> uh, okay, we got a couple inputs. We got uh, Reos813 says Winsor Newton Series 7 brushes are dope too. The sample brushes from Vallejo are kind of nice too. Just got to keep them clean. That got plus one. Uh, we got, uh, looks like, T6 Ted. I'm sure there's a lead speak there. I don't understand. Since I'm a fan of the games and gears uh, for starting. Uh, start, started using them so far so good. Uh, Skethel. The ones are Newton 7s are great, but super expensive if you're a pro painter and burning through them. Uh, like me, you know, or... or no, it's true. Like, yo, you got to worry about cost, man. I do. I crush brushes. Like, uh, Rayo, say the tissues. You got to shampoo on those brushes. Some herbal essence. And that's actually true. I, I got into this real recently right here. Uh, paintbrush uh, soap. This shit is dope. Look, check it out. Like, basically, and I come through and I wipe it out every now and then. But basically, the, the concept is, is like, you take your brush and you just kind of like clean it off in, up in here and just soap it up. You know, and it does work really good, you know, and then I'll come through and I'll wipe that crap out every now and then. But, yo, you do. You got to shampoo your brushes. <laughs> um, true story. How are we doing on the stream? How many people we got? Uh, so hoping for more people, guys. Tell your friends about the stream. Let's get it going. All right. Finish airbrushing. Okay, so we got this girl. Well, she's she's looking pretty good. We'll come back to her. Now we got the uh, this, I don't know what this deal this girl's deal is, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water up in this airbrush. I'm gonna do the backflow, the gangster gumbo. I'm gonna pull the needle in and out a little bit. Can I get it set up? Okay, good good to go. Same deal. It's top to bottom. Her, she's wearing a coat. So this is going to be an interesting one. She's going to get a lot of colors on her. She also looks to be like an old hand sculpt, if I had to guess. She doesn't have that like razor edge look that some of the new Infinity models have. So those are always harder to paint. The details are always a little softer. Same kind of deal, just giving that top-down look. Most of her armor is obscured, so this airbrushing is almost arbitrary. Because we're going to do a lot of hand work on her. Like so much hand painting to get all that extra crap painted. Good old Dirty Skeets McSheets. Or sorry, Dirty dirty Sheets McSkeets. He says, this soap is just cheap. Uh, true story, brother. True story, brother. All right. So now what we've done there is we've gotten a good solid base highlight on those girls. Let me zoom out the camera real quick. Mm-mm. And now we're going to do uh, some more Gangster Gumbo. Ancient Chinese trick. Ancient water bottle lid right here. We've done that before. I'm running low on white. I'm about to pick up some new white. But what we're doing is we're going to drop off some white up in this uh, pot right here. See if we can get some to pour out because we are low on it. Come on. I'm sure you guys have all been here. Got to coax the, the white liquid out. <laughs> come on alright this is pissing me off it doesn't want to come heard that <laughs> there we go one drop come on two drops ah look look at that that's what happens when you coax it 
you get a you get a disaster, a little a little drippage right here. All right, let's see what we got here. What, what are we working with? Oh no, the lid is spilling too. All this free liquid right here. They go online and buy some more Vallejo paints. Okay, you see what we're doing here? Mixing in the pot, a little bit of new highlight. And we're going to go subtle with this. So it's going to be real important to make sure we have an appropriate amount of flow improver. Get some water. Let's gangster gumbo that shit first. Yeah. That's what's up. We got, um... LOLs left and right. <laughs> uh, before we go in, it says uh, Skettle. Oh, we got a new check in. Thunderflux says, hey, what's up? Skets, uh, Skettle says, Don will work to clean them, but if you're going to invest in expensive brushes, you know, make sure not to strip all the natural oils off the hairs. That's true. That's a big part of it. You're definitely going to want to keep those brushes tight. We've got like a ton of LOLs. Uh, Thunderflux says, it's okay. Everyone gets a uh, little drippers from time to time. True story. Dirty skeets mix, uh, dirty sheets mix skeets. Uh, good call. I thought it could be. Uh, I thought it could clean ducks and shit. Like, I don't know what's going on there. You, if you're using curse words and it's scaling you back, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> um, he said, "Good call." I thought if it could clean ducks and shit when there's oil spills, it can clean my brushes. Not sure what he's talking about there. Uh, Skethel, too much time to see the dock. Don't know. We're just going to skip you guys. No longer going to interact with you guys if you guys are just talking to each other and talking about ducks and oil. Talk about funny sexual innuendos again. Boy, uh, box yo, box yox, I guess. Love your videos. Overly thrilled with what you do on live segment now. Yo, no worries, brother. <laughs> Nebo A says he's talking about the commercials. I'm getting it too. I'm getting the LL. Oh, word. I, I guess I'm not seeing them because I'm just looking at you guys on chat. But seriously, fuck a commercial. All right. I feel like we got the right highlight mix. The first base, uh, the first color we used was Prussian blue. Just, just for the record, they were all fresh and blue first. Then we make some blue green in, and then we make some white in, and now we're to the white mixed in stage. So let's go back to our first girl. This is like we we mentioned this before. You got to keep the tip clean. This is where it's going to get serious, guys. So scrub that tip off, get that white out of there, because this is where you get that speckling. This is what causes the problems right here. When you're going with a light color and you get a little bit of dry paint up in there. All right, here we go. This is where you got to be subtle. We got to make sure we're getting that that color to come through, though. All right. Takes a lot of, a lot of tweaking to get it the way we want. All right. Here we go. Sh shining some highlights on those titties right now. A little bit more subtle. Okay. Going on the knees. Like I said, this is all air, very little paint. Double action airbrush. That's pushing it all the way down and barely pulling it back. Super subtle. Back to the titties. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Shoulders. Shoulders. Hands on the gun. Get some highlights in those fingers. Fists. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's sling back. Let's get those shoulders in the back region. Okay, we're getting speckling. That's when you stop. You just stop. It's literally the second that happens. Pull out your toothbrush. Clean that shit up, dog. Always keep the tip clean. That's going to work its way into my, my uh, studio videos. Ancient Chinese technique. 
ancient proverb from the dawn of time. I'm talking, had to go up to the top of the mountain to hear this one. All right. Alfie B, the IV is checking in. The Alfred effects. Um, <laughs> uh, looks like Nebo 8, keep calling it Gumball or something. Looks P3-esque. Oh, we call it the Gangster... We call it the gangster gumbo. Gumbo, like <laughs> when we mix everything in the pot, that's the gumbo. It's a, it's, it, it, it was clever until I had to explain it. I could literally never use this term again. <laughs> Let's make sure everything's okay. Yo, hope we're not having any interruptions. Looking good. Uh, sh 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 and let me go back to Q and A. Are you running an exhaust fan? If so, it's super quiet. Negative. I'm not running my exhaust fan. I'm dying of fumes right now. That is just my compressor. <laughs> Nebowade has given me permission to continue to use the term. I appreciate that, brother. Okay, we're going to hit this sniper girl right here. Same deal. Subtle, subtle. Almost all air, like I said before. Like if that's a double, if you are working on a double action airbrush, which you should be, that is holding the trigger all the way down and barely nudging it back. Very little. That's how you get that, that's how you get that smooth transition the first time right there. Also, keep the tip clean. Hitting that other knee behind her. And just build it up. Build it up. Spin her around. Let's get the shoulders and back. There it is. Building it up right, Sean. We're getting close to having to clean the tip. But that's why you see I keep taking the airbrush off over here and kind of just giving it some righteous power to clear it and come right back. It's all trigger work, man. Once you learn the mechanical element, like how to use the airbrush as if it was natural, it becomes quite easy. Just, just, like, just like learning anything, I guess. Okay, we're speckling now, so you stop. Alfie B says, I'm sure you've got immunity to paint fumes at this point. I mean, no, I got a righteous headache, but... <laughs> That's probably actually because I haven't drank my whole cup of coffee yet. Give me one second, guys. Also, I need some nicotine. Oh, oh. <sighs> I needed that, homie. Oh, my God. Let's take a look real quick, see how we're doing. 26 viewers. Yay, we broke our last week's record of 24. Makes me happy, guys. While I'm cleaning the tip, let me tell you guys, I am uh, super happy you guys are checking the stream out, man. This is like been a long time coming, and I'm glad I'm learning how to do this with you guys as my first viewers. I have a couple of donation options down there, obviously. My Patreon page is clutch, but if that's not for you, I'm going to start soft releasing um, kind of a gift return like a subscription box service almost with my Patreon and one-time donations here on the Twitch channel. So I'm basically trying to give people value. Obviously, I've got a lot of connections and a lot of people. I can get good deals. So I would share that with you guys. Essentially, as you've seen, like $50 donations, I'll literally give you $50 in retail, like as a gift. I have that ability. I uh, would love to uh, keep the love rolling. We've got that option on Patreon now too, where that's a monthly reoccurring thing. Uh, but obviously, don't feel pressure to do anything. Ultimately, I'm going to do these streams no matter what. But I did want to soft release that before I go too crazy online telling people about it. Tell you guys first. We're going to be doing some interesting things here in 2016. What you get with the help of you guys. So I'm back to this little leg right here. Trying to even out some of the speckling I got. Um... It got kind of extreme before it stopped, so I'm probably going to have to uh, come back in with a darker color. Which, you know what? Honestly, I do that anyway. That's not a big deal to me. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the pot. 
Get a little bit of water back in there. Can't have a drippy tip. Rayos, 813. How you liking Cali so far? I love it, brother. I live literally in the smack middle of Hollywood. I'm right by the, the Walk of Fame and shit, man. It's, it's a trip living out here, man. Uh, Nebo 8, airbrush cleaner without my uh, my uh, respirator has absolutely wrecked my lungs. Yo, for real, dog. Uh, Marv, 1690, It's I'm amazed. Only 26 viewers, though I'm guessing it's in the early stages. Yeah, this is only my second video, brother. I, do, I mean, I expect eventually we'll pick up some more steam, but it's going to be word of mouth. It's going to be building, you know, social media shares and stuff like that. You know how this shit works. Um it is in the early stages, though. Uh, Noble Wizard 22 says hello. The bloody cast. You can't have a drippy tip. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Level 8. Uh, yeah, it's mid uh, mid work day, Marv, 2.30 Eastern. Uh, Noble Wizard 22. I think the first thing you should do is get better compressor. No, honestly, you're right. I, I like this compressor because it's quiet, but it's weak as shit. All right. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going. Let's do it. We're going platinum, guys. Same deal. Let's hit the titties. Let's get that. Let's get that top down highlight. There it is. Let's get the shoulder. There it is. Let's get the knees. There it is. See, once we clean that tip and got some more water in there, look at look at this. Perfect. Got the toes, toes. She's looking good right there. I'm zooming on her. Not bad. Spin her around. The tops of the calves, bottoms of the heels. Let's get that backpack. Like I said, I've said it a million times, brother. This is almost all air. Very little paint. Just bare, just tinting it. Gonna go. Uh, Royos 813. I got Iwata Studio Series Compressor Kenny. I love that thing. Pricey, but worth it. Yeah, I probably have to pick one up soon. Uh, so, Noble Wizard. So, any tips for painting the Infinity models? Yeah, I mean, a confusing question. I thought I was giving you guys some tips right now. Do you mean paintbrushing? Uh, because I will be covering paintbrushing soon. It's just... I can't, I'm not, like, for these videos, I'm not going to manufacture or something. Like, my uh, painting tutorials that I put out on YouTube and Patreon and everything, like, that's a whole production. Like, that's, a, I mean, I, I line out what I'm going to do and I do it. Here, I, I just can't afford to do that. So, today I'm airbrushing. That's what we're that's what we're going to do. But if I was paintbrushing, you best believe we'd be paintbrushing on time. <laughs> so, um, if this was tomorrow, like, because it just lined up that way, you know. Okay, we got the lady on the ground. Come in super careful on those titties. Let's get the hand. The top of the hand. Knees. Feet. Knees. Looking good. Okay, okay. Let's flip, spin her around. Let's get her backpack. There we go. Nice and subtle. And like 90% of what we're going to do here, I mean, honestly, is going to be pay is paintbrushing. It takes a long time to highlight these guys up to the point that I like them. There we go. How you feeling about that? She looks good. Uh, Thunderflux, any painting YouTube or Twitch channels that I follow? Uh, I mean, no, not really. <laughs> like, this is, uh, between the Long War, Battle Report edits, uh, the podcast, uh, my painting tutorials, now this, uh, literally, I mean, that's, fit, that, that's 53 hours every seven days just on this stuff like I basically don't even have a, like a minute <laughs> to figure it out that, to check out other thing other things I mean I got people who tell me yo check this out and I will but I don't play I don't play around on YouTube or Twitch or anything uh Noble Wizard 22 for your next compressor you should get an oil compressor 
as those are very silent. Yeah, sick. I've always tried to go with the oil list, but fuck it. I'm all about oil. Okay, so now what we have here is a bunch of really useful highlight material right here, this white. And I'm definitely going to use this later today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ancient Chinese technique that shit into this. And I'm just going to put this lid over top. And I'm going to save that because I want to use that later. And what I'm going to do now is clean this airbrush out right here. I have my trusty bottle of water. Just going to quickly uh, rinse it out. Um, I've, I've got a whole video on this. I've got like a little sink at my feet that, I, that I've made. It's ghetto. You guys can't see it, but trust me. It's ghetto. <laughs> and I'm going to come back in here and use the, use the brush. Let me zoom out real quick. And I'm just going to kind of get dislodge all this bullshit in there. Like so. And this is where I would really love to have my respirator on. <laughs> but I don't. So I'm not going to use any solvents. Not yet. Because I'm actually just going to go back to a darker color and show you guys another ancient Chinese technique. All right. Make sure everything's looking fresh. All right. So comments. Uh, Kenny, you guys talk, You guys going to talk about the Renegade Titan on the webcast tonight? Uh, can a Chaos Army in 40K be competitive? Oh, that Renegade Titan is the truth, my brother. That shit is like a custom Titan. You can like The fact that you can outlet them however you want. If you play Chaos Base Marines and you put him in your army, you immediately have a better army. So yes, like we will be talking about him. Um, Anna, uh, Anna Hoy, will this be posted on Patreon? Just join. Yes. Basically, here's what's going to happen. You can watch this live stream right now. After it archives, I'm going to export it to YouTube. Then I'm going to delete it from here. Then I'm going to download it from YouTube. Then I'm going to upload it to, page, to Vimeo and with no ads, link it to my Patreon page. Then I'm going to put it up on YouTube with an ad every minute. So the YouTube people go watch it for free, but it's going to be literally ad saturated. And my Patreon people are going to watch it ad free. So that is the truth. Uh, Thunderflux, looking at the studio, paint, looking up the studio painters as they may have done some tutorials. What? Try looking up the studio painters as they have made... I don't know what's going on there. Thunderflux, good tip. Uh, Bloody Chaos. Two double battle cannons, yeah. Like, two double battle cannons is clutch. That's my second pick. Double Gatling guns is my first pick. I'll t the 24 strength 6 AP3 rending shots. It's pretty It's pretty brutal. Um, the uh, Titan plus the Black Legion Cabal. Yo, seriously. Make him invisible. Do whatever you want. The, I mean, either of those are really competitive, you know. Good old uh, Geoff's born. Geoff Osborne just got in. What's he painting? Mm. We were painting Infinity again, brother. These are the last four models of the Panosha commission I'm working on right now. These four lovely ladies right here. We just laid down the airbrush highlights. We're going to try to take them. Let me see. I had, the, I had a model to show you guys earlier. They're going to kind of look like this girl right here when they're done. But they're, they have little berets. So they're going to have their little berets like this guy right here. Painted red. So next week we'll be done with the Panosha. So we'll be going to a new color scheme. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys another ancient Chinese technique before we wrap it up. So now what I've done here, let me see if I can show you guys some of the speckling that's happened here that I don't like. Here we go. All right. Let's get this in focus for you guys. Might not come in clear because of the way I'm doing my stream, but basically... Here in this region, there's a there's a transition that's a little speckly. I don't like that. And that's kind of happening in a couple spots on these models. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to our darker color, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, gonna to adjust it, kind of wipe out that speckling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a it's you know I call it the back shade technique. Literally, it's a problem solver. It's so easy to do. Uh, 
We got, uh, on average, how long does it take you to complete a commission uh, from Rails 813? Yo, literally, uh, next level painting, we're going hourly. Uh, we used to do things in like two weeks, ten days, uh, but as the quality has improved to the levels that it is now, the marriage of quantity and quality, we're just going hourly right now. I mean, so my quotes now will tell you exactly how many hours it's going to take, take me to paint it. But I mean, three and a half weeks for... Us, uh, you know, 1500 points of 40k, maybe you know, but this infinity is taking way longer, way longer. You know, if you want to hit that quality, and we don't offer multiple quality levels, so we're not like other studios there, we only offer the one. Um, good old dirty sheets, mcskeets, you can use psychic powers to twin link those 24 shots. Uh, there's only one way to do that. You either have to have a Zine Charles with Divinate with Prescience or um, another Psyker with the Bell Star from Crimson Slaughter because you, you can't get Divination on Chaos. Um, what are you char charging hourly, uh, Nebo 8? I'm currently, my baseline is $25 an hour with a six hour minimum, which is actually more money than I used to charge in some ways, less than others. I'll tell you what, dude, by the end of a commission back in the old price guide, sometimes I was making $4 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's hard. So we're, we're not doing that anymore. Um, Rayo Kenny, the new Crimson Slaughter book has a formation. Does it have a Psychic Cabal formation? I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, where the where the Chaos Lord gets prescience? Oh, is that a thing? I, don't, I literally don't know. I'm not caught up. I, Robbie B keeps me updated. Okay, so we're back to the the mid color. Let's see, let's hold her up here so you guys can see. I'm gonna go into this calf. Okay, it's not dark enough, so that was a mistake. Let's take this, pour some of it out, hold it up like so. We're gonna pour some Prussian blue back in there and make a new color. There we go. Prussian blue. Mix it in. Darken this joint up right here. Back full of that shit. Add a little water. Keep that shit. Keep that shit alive. All right. Let's make sure that we actually have flow. Okay, we don't. We're getting a little clogged. Little flow improver. Gangster gumbo. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's go into that calf now. I want to darken it from the bottom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we're just fixing some of the speckling that we did by accident. Same thing on the front. Kind of in the middle there. I hope you can see that. Let me zoom in so you guys can actually see it. So right down here. Bring it some darkness in. Put it down. Get the next one. Same deal right. Chion. As you can see. Wiping out that speckle. Back to the front right here. Mm. That's how you do it. That's how you undo the damage. Uh, speaking of damage. It's a simple technique. You don't always have to go dark to light. You can go back and forth as many times as you want, my brother. Same deal right here. Literally, like, honestly, I think true good transitions do go back and forth. I like to work them back and forth constantly. There we go. Looking fresh, homie. So, let me show you guys what we've accomplished here. Let me turn this compressor off. Ah, so much better. Okay. So, what we've done here. Let me see if I can get... See if I can get you guys set up here. Got get you guys in focus. There we go. Zoom in. Okay. So, this is what we've done here. 
We've taken these girls up to this highlight level right here. And obviously, we've done four. These are our last four like we talked about. And we're going to paintbrush after this. And like what our goal is with the paintbrush is to kind of take it to a level like this. You know, do all the highlights. You know, get those new colors in there. Get You know, get it on its base. All these things, you see. And we're going to kind of use that color scheme. Some of these reds, like on this cape right here. Some of these little berets are going to be like this. So we're going to take it to that level. But I also want to take a second to, show you, to point out to you guys uh, something super sweet. Like, if you saw last week's um, painting tutorial that came out on YouTube or came out on Patreon and The Long War, you guys saw me pinning these little tiny Infinity models to their bases. And one of the tricks I showed you guys was sometimes when you paint a model on the base, you get like kind of a lift up on one of the feet. And I showed you guys with cork how I fixed that, how I manufacture a rock with cork. As you can see there, I've done that to this lady right here. Haven't finished this base yet, but you can, here's an example of the model we actually did it in the tutorial right here. That's all cork supporting the lift off of the rocket launcher painted up. So I did just want to kind of further explain that in this video. Uh, it's a sick technique to have basically a cork handy at all times because you literally can just come in shave pieces off boom there's a rock literally that that easy you know what I'm saying so that was the whole concept is basically save your wine bottles or not your wine bottles but your wine corks keep that shit tight um, let's burn out some of this Q&A real quick before we shut it down um, let's go back up to Chris the Slider book has a new formation Chaos Lord gets prescience for free okay that sounds amazing what else is in that formation because if it's like a Lord and two units of Terminators they don't care uh, that sounds about right to make a living you're talking about the new hourly rates uh, Nebo 8 says I used to pay commissions till I burnt out um, was missing a real job was missing my real job to finish painting and my hourly rate was dirt compared to my yeah no that's a big deal like that's when you work as a commission painter like and you contract out these like commissions and you bid on them you have to get it done and by the end of the day you have to get it done it's your word sometimes I mean like I literally was making eight seven six dollars an hour on some jobs even less sometimes so now that I've been doing this for six years professionally 20 years casually uh, the new price guide is going to going an hourly rate, six dollar minimum, twenty five dollars an hour. Of course, I will bulk rate, you know, quote people like if they want to do like months of work, I'll give them a better rate. But it's the minimum right now. And as I get boosted up and I get to a place financially with all these mediums, like I said, my goal is to not have to take commissions. I don't want to take them if I can avoid it. If I can just do like tutorials all day, every day, take you know, like like let's just do put up a bulletin board where you guys can just pick the models that we work on. Yeah, I would love that. You know, that's the, and that's the dream. That's how you bring hobby back to everybody. Um, let's go through this Q and A though. Um, Gia, looks like Geoff Osborne. Have you tried the new GW airline paints? Any product reviews coming up? Yo, I'd love to do a product review. Probably uh, gonna do one right after Rob Bear does one. Um, Cryokinesis says hi. Uh, the blood of chaos over and over again. I don't know what that means. Thunderflux looks looks great already. Uh, Skethel says uh, the cork work is so clutch. It is, dude. Uh, WTF thinking for real. The cork is such a good idea. Dirty Sheets McSkeets, my favorite name of all time. I know how you love that Vallejo wash. You can get in a larger 6.67 uh, ounce jars for 10 bucks. Oh, my God. That is... That is a new ancient Chinese technique. I need to buy those immediately. Uh, Skethel, yeah. I'm holding out for the deep red tutorial, aka the far side enclave. Now, literally, um, I want to do, obviously, a deep red tutorial. Like, I'll tell you what, real quick, before we go. If you want to upgrade your red game, these are, this is what you need right here. Get you this Vallejo black red right here. And get you this Vallejo uh, Scarlet Blood right here. These right here combine in with uh, also 
sunny skin tone for like your final edge highlights with mixed in a little bit. That's how you get like, let me show you guys. That's how you get your capes looking like this. Like fresh, you know, super clean. That's all just paintbrush, man. It's, it came out so easy, just subtle layers. Same deal right here. That's how, that's how I got her. That's how I got her cape like that. I mean, it's so easy. I, can't, I couldn't believe how easy it was to work with. <laughs> Insane. Well, anyway, guys, let's wrap it up there. It's been about an hour. Thank you for checking out the live stream. You know, thanks for checking out the tip jars, Patreon, uh, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the YouTubes. You know, please subscribe, share. Got to get the message out. Got to bring that hobby back. Reach as many people as possible. Appreciate it, homies.